Bend 5 is a three-point saddle. Three-point saddles are useful when you need to clear a water pipe, vent pipe, or any other round object that may be in the path of the conduit run. They are normally used on objects that are less than seven inches in size. Although three-point saddles can be made with 30 degree and 60 degree bends, the best angles to use are typically 45 degrees and 22 and a half degrees. Step one is determine the distance to the object and the height. Determine how far the center of the object at point N is from point M. Next, determine the height of the object. These measurements will provide the necessary information for making a proper bend. Measure from point M to the center of the obstacle at point N. It is 25 inches. Measure the height of the obstacle. It is 2 inches. Measure from point M to point A. It is 46 inches. Step 2 is determine the angles and perform the calculations. The 45 degree, 22 and a half degree combination provides a smoother appearance and is easier to pull wire through. We will use the 45 degree, 22 and a half degree combination. We can see that the shrink for 22 and a half degree and 45 degree bends is 3 16 of an inch for every one inch of the object's height. Using the three point saddle bend chart, we can see that a two inch obstacle has 3 8 inch shrinkage. To determine the distance between the bends, use the formula distance between bends equals diameter of the object times two and a half. The object is two inches high, so the distance between the bends will be two inches times two and a half equals five inches. Step three is mark the conduit. Three point saddles should have three marks made on the conduit. The first mark is the distance from point M to the center of the object at point N considering shrink. Place the mark at 25 inches plus 3 8 inches for shrink equals 25 and 3 8 inches. From our mark, we will go 5 inches in one direction and 5 inches in the other direction. Trace the marks all the way around. Step four is make the first bend. The first bend is made on the center mark using the teardrop or rim notch of the bender. The teardrop or rim notch indicates the center of the 45 degree bend. The teardrop or rim notch is located between the arrow and the star on the bender. Place the conduit into the bender with the center mark aligned with the teardrop or rim notch. Bend the conduit to 45 degrees on the floor. Look to see if you are at 45 degrees on your bender, or use a level to see if you are at 45 degrees. Step five is make the second and third bends. The second and third bends are 22 and a half degree bends. They will be made using the arrow on the conduit bender. The bender handle should be on the floor. Slide the conduit to an outside mark and rotate the conduit 180 degrees. Place the end of the conduit under your armpit and bend it down to 22 and a half degrees, making sure to bend close to the conduit bender. Make sure that the conduit remains straight when you are making the second and third bends. Make the third bend by removing the conduit from the bender. Place the last mark on the conduit bender arrow. Line up the conduit to prevent a dog leg. Make a 22 and a half degree bend. Remove the conduit from the bender and check to see if the three point saddle looks good. Look down the conduit to see if you need to add or remove bend from either of your outside bends. Add or remove from bends if necessary. Look down the conduit to see if you have any dog legs. Point M to point A is 46 inches. Mark conduit at 46 inches.
at Conduit on Mark. Green Conduit. Place conduit onto conduit board and put conduit couplings on.